So, oh, welcome to Texas, Houston. I just did my first ever U.S. speaking talk here, and all things considered, I'm very happy with how it went. I I don't normally speak at events like this. I don't get asked really. It would be very different than the A B events that I go to, say in England, or speak at there. It's more of a spiritual, holistic kind of thing, very new age. So I was a bit nervous about how the audience would take it, people would take it, but well, they came. And so I can't complain, and well, it was well received. Uh, the first talk was about the occult, the occult, you know, gestation of the Third Reich. A lot of people speak about this subject, but I'm picking the only one that really goes in, in depth into how, you know, being probably the one of the few actually knows about magic and stuff, how it gestated earlier on, long before Hitler even came on the scene, in terms of Haxan and Germanic folk magic and Germanic sorcery. So even terms like using sorcery was, 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 it was challenging to some of the people, but you know, I just explained to the sorcery, when I use that term, it's just a way of distinguishing folk magic, that, that you know, an organic tribal magic as opposed to, um, you know, ritualized form of magic. So I've never done an event like this, and it was so. It was, so I didn't. I you know, it's it's something I don't know a lot about. And I would never judge people, but it's the same. It's kind of what you would expect to get. This idea. Some some of the people would be people looking for something. Now this is not surprising in Houston, as the place has just been bombarded with a really bad hurricane. In fact, coming into the city from the airport, you could see mile after mile of houses that were the interior contents, were, uh, including all the plasterboard or sheetrock, as Americans call it, was all dumped out into the street along with all the carpets and furniture. Now, it seems very drastic, but apparently mold in this kind of incredible heat, mold is a killer. Where you get like mold in a house in Britain and Ireland, it's just a drag, you have to keep kind of cleaning it. But apparently, in the heat, you can get types of mold that can actually kill you, the, the spores, or whatever, it can actually cause terrible respiratory problems and other kind of issues. So, they basically have to strip their house down to the bone when they get flooded in these kinds of tropical storms and replace all the interior fittings. Now, the, the city itself is vast and sprawling, and so there was lots that didn't get hit. The city is basically flat, but there are some elevated areas, and the elevated areas were generally free from... Hiya, am I annoying you here? <laughs> we're generally free from it, so it was good to see that like people are getting on with their lives, people are making the most of their lives, and... Uh, and why not? And good luck to them. And it just goes to show you that even after a city can be devastated by an incredible storm, uh, the people and the resolve fights back. I, the people in Houston are incredibly friendly. Are you from Houston? Yes. See, there's a messy, immediately a, a lady I don't know is very friendly to me. And that's what they're all like here. Everybody's very, very friendly, very, very laid back and easy going. And it's, it's just lovely. And so that's that.